the Bible says that Elisha comes back to Gilgal. And when he arrives in Gilgal, the Bible says there is famine in the land. Now, famine means the absence of or the lack of. And so when Elisha comes, he is met by a, 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 a cloud of prophets, hundreds of them. They are sitting there, they are hungry, there is nothing to eat. But the prophet then says to his servant, go into the field. Put up a large pot of stew. When there is nothing to eat, Elisha says, find something to eat. Maybe it is time we view life from God's perspective. Where you sit, there is not. But from where God sits, there is an abundance of resources. And so in the absence of, God says, put up a pot and let the prophets eat. Then one of the servants gets up and goes into the field. And he collects everything green, comes with it to the pot. And the Bible says while he is collecting, he collects a poisonous herb. He takes that very herb, cuts it into the pot, and boils the pot, and he feeds it to the people. And while they are eating, another one cries out from one corner and says, Men of God, there is death in the pot. In other words, there is something that is not right with the pot. Not everything green goes into the pot of stew. It may look like it's a perfect fit for the stew, but not everything green goes into the pot. The Bible says, while they are seated and they are eating, another one calls from the other side, says, men of God, there is death in the pot. And the man says, bring me the pot. When the pots of your life get bitter, Take them back to the master chef. When things are a mess in your life, if you believe that it is God who gave you this marriage, it is only he that can fix it. Please follow the Bible very carefully. The Bible says, bring the pot and the master chef deals with the pot. He does not take the pot and dispose of it then puts up a new pot. He does not do that. He takes the very same pot and fixes the same pot. Then he says, give it to the people that they may eat. And there was nothing harmful about the pot. You don't need to dispose of your life. When Listen, it's not necessary to run from one relationship to the next. If it is God that gave it to you, Take it back to him. If the pot is bitter, take it back to the master chef. He knows what to do with it. God does not dispose of it. He fixes it. Then he says, go back to the pot and enjoy it. Your life can be sweet again. Your marriage can be sweet again. Jobs can be happy again. Everything that comes from the master's hand, he can fix it. And so he says, bring me the pot.